What's up guys, my name is Sherwin KC for Wicked Tongue Media here. Before the Taken King drops on September 15th, I wanted to go through my opinion on the top five Warlock exotic pieces. The most useful, most essential items you need for PvE and PvP. Here we go. At number five, we have the Void Fang Vestments. You will dream of teeth and nothing else scratched behind a bucket. The Void Fang Vestment's unique perk spawns one more seeker to your Axion Bolt. Four bolts instead of three, depending on the number of enemies caught in its initial blast radius, helping clear out groups of enemies in both PvE and especially in something like PvP control. Also, after a respawn you will have gained full grenade energy. At the beginning of each round of trials for example, your nade will be ready and full for all you grenade happy guardians. On a final note, this chest piece increases the amount of hand cannon and special weapon ammunition you can carry. A really solid warlock choice. At number 4 is the obsidian mind. Power from the Ash. The insatiable perk allows Nova Bomb kills to reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb, meaning you acquire your super quicker, meaning you become a Nova Bomb killing machine, flinging out Nova Bombs left, right, and center. In PvE, that, coupled with another of its perks, Inverse Shadow, allows increased super energy from killing minions of the darkness. So you get the picture, it's so much fun. Number three, the Ram. Praise me. The strength of the Ram perk equipped with a full armor loadout can basically withstand more damage from enemies. In PvP, this means you will live through a two-shot headshot and burn from Thorn. Just think about it. That's huge, guys. You can also survive a Titan shoulder charge, amongst other things. Any piece of gear that can help you live longer through an encounter and be able to take more damage is so useful, even if a little overpowered. Melee attacks with the ram equipped grants the Voidwalker 3 second lifesteal overshield. You don't have to kill them, you just have to damage an opponent. So you have the advantage in that close quarters combat. Finally, aesthetically, the ram is probably the most intimidating, best looking helmet in the game. Number 2, Heart of the Praxic Fire. In that last moment, she seemed as wholly luminescent as the sun, and I wish to be so brave. Heart of the Praxic Fire is at number 2 for its sheer versatility as a Sunsinger Warlock in both PvE and PvP. While your Radiance is active, this exotic reduces the cooldown of your grenades and melee attack meaning you can get more off and inflict more damage. This Praise the Sun perk, accompanied with its high discipline stat roll, really reinforces an ultimate grenadier loadout. At number one, Light Beyond Nemesis. These are the wings of Pratia Samutpada, the truth of interconnectedness, the Everywhere Light. With the arrival of Trials of Osiris and the unparalleled importance of the ability to revive and be revived quicker can be the difference between winning and losing a match. This helm will allow you to be the team player who prioritizes the quicker revives over kills. Also, do not underestimate the ability to revive, be revived quicker in Prison of Elders 2 and to be able to spawn more orbs. All these attributes put this helm at number one. 
So guys, that was my opinion on the top five exotic gear for the Warlock class and the pieces that I have used the most over the first year of playing Destiny. Let me know what exotics you would have in your top five in the comments below. Thanks a lot, Guardians. Sherwin KC over and out.